Welcome back to another reading with Chanel. We're going to jump into a reading with Diddy again, okay? Because he is still trending out here in these Google streets and now in these YouTube streets because he has another allegation against him, which is going to be the fourth one, which I feel like it's plenty more to come. It's just that he done pissed somebody off, okay? He done pissed somebody out off at the top of the system because as much as you think he's at the top, he's really not. He's just one of the people that they put in place to allow him to maneuver and do his own people wrong. But it's people that's over him that do not look like him that is in control of the whole steam, okay? The whole ring, the whole criminal aspect of what's going on with him. Now, if you haven't heard um, a 17-year-old person, or, or I don't think this person's 17 now, but when the allegations first occurred, this person was 17 years old and he allowed a gang R word to happen to this person. That is so sad, okay, because it feels like he was allowed to traffic young ladies that look like him um, around, okay, just so that he can please his clients. Who was his clients? The people in the industry, okay? So let's just be honest about it. Now, I'm going to pull some cards on him. I don't know what this reading is going to take us because at this point, it's like, why isn't he locked up? Well, I don't feel like he will get locked up, but we'll see if these cards say he will, but I don't feel like he will because if he does get locked up and go to a trial and all that, it's going to be a lot of people that's going to have to go with him, okay? Because think about it. You got so many people out here that's speaking out against him, like his bodyguard and people that was with him and people that seen it, but it's like, isn't that call okay you accessory to um criminal activity so wouldn't that make you guilty if somebody was aiding and abetting wouldn't that make you guilty if you participated in these freak offs wouldn't that make you guilty so it's a lot of people that will be going down with him and i don't feel like they're allowed to go that far because like i said it's a whole system remember trafficking does not just deal with a pimp and the um and the lady that he trafficking it's a whole system because it's people who's buying people who's participating people who allow it to happen it's going to be a lot of people that's in the justice system that allows this to happen and so all of these people will have to go down with him and i don't think they're going to do that what they're going to do is drain his pockets because that's just the way of punishing people like him so they, they'll also keep him quiet because they trying to punish him for something he did. Now, we'll see what these cards have to say. But, like, like I, I don't feel like he would go to jail, like I said, because there's so many people who would go to jail. Because, like, the people who speaking out, saying that they know what happened, it's like, well, why didn't you go report it? It's it, it, something ain't right about that. You didn't go report it, which means you allowed it to happen. So, wouldn't you go down, too? So, how can we trust anybody who's speaking? So, we're going to pull some cards and see what's going on. What do these cards have to say about P. Diddy? What can we expect for the future of P. Diddy? And hopefully it can give us more details. So, let's go ahead and get into a Divine Angel. So, if we could, please give me the best cards from this deck to describe. What do we need to know about this P. Diddy case? I'm going to be doing an intuitive reading, honey. Straight from the, uh, my intuition with the cards that come out. Alrighty, let's go. So, we're going to try to shuffle and see what cards will pop out first for old P. Diddy and his issues. Everything want to come out. So, we're going to keep it how it is. Okay. Now, first card, okay, so like I said, okay, this is a whole system. This right here is in-house. This is in-house issues. They're taking care of in-house, but they're trying to publicly embarrass him. It's time for him to be humiliated, right? So that's what they're doing. And he know he's going through it. He know he's going to have to pay the piper, and that's what he's doing. But it seems like a lot of stuff went on either in his house, okay, behind four walls, okay? A lot of stuff took place behind it. And, um, you know, in, I'm going to say in his house, okay? Around his house, in-house, okay? It's like in-house, all in the system. 
okay we got this eight of cups situation here it seems like it's going to be him looking at his material things he's going to lose a lot of material things he's going to walk away from this situation which means he's going to be walking away from everything that he's built or he claimed he built because come to find out he just a glorified influencer aka a glorified youtuber okay glorified he just a um yeah an influence pretty, pretty much he don't own nothing all he's doing is just walking around with a stack of ndas making people sign it and then he get paid for it he get paid for the things that he do it's like he's the supplier he's supplying the cups and people come and they drink it from the cup so it's like he's supplying the the goods if you will but he's gonna be walking away from the things because at this point you know he's being punished next we got the chariot here okay moving forward okay just freely just traveling back and forth trafficking doing what he do best okay hands up baby no it's like nobody can touch him even though and it's like he he was flying above the radar okay and who allowed him to get on the plane and and fly back and forth and do what they want to they let these celebrities do whatever they want to on islands on planes and stuff like that to kind of fly above what's going on on the land so it's almost like it's a different type of rules that's set up in the sky for him to you know in the friendly sky for him to fly and do these things I, I feel like, you know, he thought that he was flying above all the rules, all the bumps and, and stuff that he had to abide by on land. Okay, with victory. Did it for a long time. A lot of victory here. But we got this two of swords energy. Okay, but he's been hooked, baby. And it seemed like he's been hooked by two parties. It's not just one person that's coming at him. It's two people. Okay, and he, blinds, he was blindsided by this. But I don't know why. But I guess why? Because he's been doing this for many years with no type of issue at all. But now he's being hooked. Okay? Two entities are hooking him. Hooking him. Okay? From the front and the back, baby. Okay? Now with this Three of Pentacles energy right here, it's like the energy is changing. The energy is changing. And then look at this. It's shaped like a, a triangle. Okay, it's giving me that Illuminati energy. Okay, so like I said, he, he's not the only player in this. Okay, it's other tears. It's tears to this, if you will, to what's going on. I don't know why he done pissed these people off, but maybe he got high and drunk and forgot who he was or forgot who they was. Then we got this Knight of Wands energy. This King of Wands, I mean. And then you know, the King of Wands, that Aries energy, that fiery energy, that passion, that sexual energy. I just see a lot of men here lined up. I see men lined up. And these are powerful men. He's not just giving to, oh, my homies. My, this is for my homies. No, these are for some powerful men. Okay? With, with, with this nasty type of fetishes that need to be fulfilled here okay he provide providing the women in the dark room got these women all doped up drunk naked okay and i just see a bunch of i just see a bunch of cups here a bunch of people waiting they turn right here with the uh eight of ones energy i mean with the knight of ones yeah powerful men okay big ones baby big ones Okay, and I, and I see right now with the Queen of Pentacles here, I see, mm, I see a, a womb. I see the wombs here. I see paying money for the women, but who they paying? They paying OP Diddy, okay, because the women ain't getting the money. The women don't even supposed to remember what happened, but I do see a, a pregnancies here too. I see pregnancies. I see, again, I see these women being loopy, I, just out of it cloudy cloudy judgments okay again he fr he flying high with this okay so it's like with the private jets with the boats and yachts that they, they do all this on yachts and planes and maybe even submarines girl with the two of cups okay like I said drinking and then sometimes he may even call it dates okay it seems like there may even be some dates here Okay, it's like he a glorified pimp straight out. Again, I see the women here. 
I see the women here drinking, sipping, sipping on that scissor, baby. But it seems like, let's see what I see here. With the hooks, I see, okay, the women were hooked, okay. He used his celebrity to hook the women, of course. And then, he, of course, he tells them, okay, I can get you record deals and stuff like that. That's why nobody don't get paid because every, all his artists were his pimpettes, okay, if you will. His little puppeteers. All of them was pimped out. That's what that's what the point was. It was like, that's the gag. These, these artists were not really artists. They thought they were, but they're not. But they were not at all. Okay, so... Let's pull.